So uh, are you looking out uh, to obtain some in additional information from your customers where they sign up form uh, for the Imagine to do platform based web store? And if uh, that's a yes, then this particular plugin is the best one that you can get to uh, get uh, an extractor or uh, receive more additional information from your customers from the sign it form itself. So uh, it can be anything like the uh, verification information such as the identity proof, address proof of or any other KYC document. And uh, if you're stuck due to the fact that the default platform doesn't have that functionality, now the admin can effortlessly create uh, the uh, custom fields using multiple field types uh, allowing the admin to cover almost all details that are required to gather the additional customer information from the registration page itself so here i'm at the uh, storefront on the uh, uh, create new customer account page and here you can see that uh, we have the additional information section under which we have the different uh, custom registration fields that the admin has created from the admin backend panel and the customer needs to fill them up uh, before he can uh, create an account at the store. Now these details are visible to the customer under the own account panel and they can also edit the data uh, for the same. And uh, the admin has the option to uh, create uh, multiple field types and uh, before we proceed further please do uh, uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, tap the bell icon to receive the latest updates and if you find this particular video helpful uh, then please give it a thumbs up so uh, we'll just check the customer flow first and then I'll be showing you how we can create the additional information section or the uh, custom uh, fields uh, using different uh, field types uh, uh, that would allow the uh, admin to uh, gather the additional information uh, from the customer registration page itself so these details are also visible within the uh, emails uh, or the orders as well so i'll just show, uh, show you that in a moment from now so for example here you can see that uh, the customer can uh, edit his uh, additional account information and uh, under his own account panel under the additional account information section and can save that up as well apart from that on the login page or on the uh, create new customer page as we have already told you if i if we navigate to the additional information section you can see a different uh, custom uh, uh, field types created here uh, wherein you can add uh, your images uh, your pdf stocks jpgs pngs uh, you can uh, enter your organization organization name you create you can create drop downs you also have the terms and conditions and the privacy and cookie policy uh, for the uh, particular uh, 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 section here that's for the create new customer account and uh, you can also add up the terms and conditions and the privacy policy from the admin backend uh, that the customers can see at the front end in different views like in a pop-up or in a sliding view apart from that you can also create uh, the uh, fields uh, like the radio buttons uh, the dependable fields and much more so let's get ahead and let's see how the uh, fields uh, get visible to the customer or to a new user for example and then we'll see how we can create uh, the custom fields from the admin backend panel and we'll see the scene uh, getting reflected here at the uh, front end as well so I'll just go ahead and I'll be entering my first name last name I'll be choosing my uh, date of birth the default fields uh, uh, for uh, the uh, customer registration form itself so I'll just choose that up uh, and uh, and now let's uh, now come down to the additional info section so i'll just choose my residence as office i can enter another email address that i want to add here so i can change that up i can enter my hobbies uh swimming king hockey all right and we can also add an image so let's uh, choose one profile image for our avatar there so I've just chosen this image here and we can just tap here in the terms and conditions to read the terms and conditions here uh, before creating an account here so let's scroll down we can also check the privacy and cookie policy for the store and uh, here we have added uh, some additional uh, custom fields and now let's uh, check this option and tap here on the create an account uh, all right I just need to fill some additional info here and then we'll just save this particular one so uh, I'll just uh, set it as a demo at uh, webcool.com and here I'll just uh, set up the password and uh, I'll just reconfirm the password once again and now let's tap here on the create an account uh, button never 
so uh, here you can see that we have successfully registered at the store and uh, now for example if the customer wants to uh, check his uh, additional information he can go to his my account and then additional account information and that would display the complete uh, details there so here under the edit uh, additional account information you can see the uh, residence was home another email the hobbies the image that we had chosen so from here we can also uh, change the same for example let's uh, tap here in the choose file and let me select any other file here and let's tap here in the save button thereafter so uh, the data has been saved here as you can see and the image has been changed similarly you can also change any details like the hobby and other email or whatever whatever so uh, the uh, uh, the uh, custom fields that the admin has created now we can also have here uh, the radio buttons drop downs uh, or uh, the other ones so basically this is how uh, it works so uh, that's how the customer can register and while registering they can add uh, uh, or can uh, provide the additional information uh, from the uh, registration page then they can wave that particular additional information under this section here they can edit it and they can save it once again as per their own requirement they can update it as well so uh, now hereafter let's go to the admin backend panel and let's check the uh, configuration for settings for this particular plugin and let's see how we can create these uh, uh, custom fields and how we can choose the uh, field types as well so for that let's go to the admin backend panel now so i'll just log into the admin backend panel by entering my username password for my web store backend panel which is based on the magento 2 platform itself so i'll be showing you how we can set up the uh, custom fields but before that let's uh, check the initial configuration settings so after the successful installation navigate through uh, stores then uh, or go to the configuration page on the configuration page here on the left hand side of the web cool blog just navigate uh, to the product itself that's the custom registration settings just start that up and that brings up two different uh, configuration settings here for the uh, plugin itself so here we have the terms and conditions uh, as you can see along with the privacy policy and then we have the enable disable the address uh, information so uh, basically using this uh, enable address fields uh, would enable the address fields uh, on the uh, customer registration uh, uh, form there at the storefront otherwise if we choose it as a no then uh, the address fields would not be visible on the customer registration page at the storefront and apart from that uh, here you can set up the uh, enable the terms and conditions on the registration page itself by choosing a yes you can set up the privacy pop-up model heading so the top heading that we saw while we were registering and type while we tapped on the privacy and cookie policy there we can similarly set up the terms and condition pop-up model heading here as well for the terms and conditions we can set up the model button text uh, on that particular pop-up uh, ok button uh, that can be tapped to go back after reading the uh, terms and privacy policy there we can set up the button text color we can choose as per our own requirement there similarly we can set up the model button color as well uh, the header background color for the uh, model itself and the model background there for the pop-up itself then we can choose the model animation type or whether we want to have it as a pop-up as we saw in uh, the front end flow or a slide one that's just slides from the screen from any of the corners of the screen here from the sides uh, you can also choose uh, to show the content as uh, just text or if you have HTML you can choose that and in the pop-up uh, the content would be in the HTML format you can set up your terms and conditions here as you can see and the privacy and the cookie policy as well so here you can choose text or HTML uh, show content ads and lastly we have uh, as we have told you the enable address fields there and lastly you just need to tap here in the save configuration and we are done configuring the initial configuration settings for the uh, custom registration fields uh, for the Magento 2 platform that allows the admin to to uh, uh, be, uh, fetch more details from the customer using by create by you uh, are creating custom fields using different field types there and that are visible to the customers on the customer registration field and under the actual information under the own uh, account there now uh, if I go back to the storefront and now if I just log out uh, here from my account and then we will just come back uh, to the registration page so I'll just tap here in the create in uh, account uh, link at the top right hand corner as you can see so again we are on that uh, create new customer account page and uh, 
so uh, basically hey the address information that we can see we can hide this particular thing if we choose our uh, no here for the enable for the enable address fields to display that one on the registration you just need to choose a yes so let's tap here in the save configuration button also one more thing if uh, I've chosen this uh, option enable address fields as no then the customer needs to enter the address by navigating to the address section under his own account panel otherwise if I choose it as yes as I've already told you then uh, the uh, address fields uh, would be visible here uh, on the registration page itself otherwise if it is a no then the details would not be visible there now after the successful installation you'll have the custom registration side uh, menu option and under that we have the manage uh, custom fields so let's open that up and let's see what how we can manage the custom fields from this particular section here uh, for uh, the custom registration uh, page itself so uh, here we have uh, the complete list of uh, custom fields that we have created with uh, the uh, different uh, columns as well here you can see the uh, uh, the attribute labels whether you want to show the uh, custom fields within the orders as well so after the customer has placed the orders the details would be visible to the admin under the particular order and these additional info data would be visible on that uh, order page as well apart from that you can show the details or the additional information within the transaction emails as well so you can choose a yes for that as well apart from that you can do uh, a bulk action here from the drop down to disable enable delete or manage the fields so if you want to manage the fields you can display them in the order hide from the order display in email, or hide from the email as per your own requirement after creating after selecting them and then choosing the appropriate uh, uh, of uh, option to use from this particular section so uh, let's add a new field by tapping here in the add new field uh, button so uh, let's create a new custom attribute uh, from this section so we need to set up the attribute information required for that one and we'll have to set up the properties and we'll have to manage the labels for the different store views that we have so here we can set up the default uh, label the attribute code uh, for our uh, new custom attribute we can choose the website where we want to display this particular attribute we can choose the input type uh, as the text field text area date a yes or a no multiple select drop down media file uh, media image file dependable field or a radio option as well so for example if we go for a radio one uh, whether you can set it the values as required or not uh, otherwise the customer can't uh, proceed further uh, before uh, uh, without uh, making the setup there for the values uh, you can set up the input uh, uh, fields or order you can choose to display the field in the admin customer form uh, or uh, if you want to display it in the customer account only or within the registration form as well you can set this uh, status for the uh, one as uh, enabled and from here we can add the options for example I can set uh, it as uh, passport uh, let's uh, set up the uh, uh, option or the value for the attributes here for the admin as well and password let's choose the option add option then we'll choose it as uh, universal identification so I just set these two options for now and uh, after making these changes here we'll set up the uh, label here uh, we'll set the label as doc and let's tap here in the save attribute so the attribute or the custom attribute has been saved if I scroll down here we have uh, the attribute ID along with the code the attribute label whether you want to show it in all auto I've set it as no for the time being I've tapped it up uh, once again so uh, from here if you want you can make some changes as well as per your own requirement uh, you can change the display fields in the form as well uh, you can enable or disable the status there you can add more options as well now if I go back to the uh, storefront and uh, if we refresh this particular page that we have here and if I scroll down here uh, you'll be able to see the edition section here and here we have the uh, doc that we just created uh, whether we want to have a passport or a universal identification there so we have a radio button similarly we can have a drop down as well and the rest of the ones that we have here so let's go back uh, to our section there so if I choose my uh, created uh, custom field here 
that we have created from the drop down we can manage this particular display field as well so if i want to display it in order i can choose to display it on or in order we can hide it from order we can display it in the transaction email as well so right now for the show in order and show in transaction email it says no and no i can just tap here in the uh, display in order and that would change uh, the status here as yes for the same and similarly we can uh, choose to display it in the transitional emails as well so uh, now we can see the show in order says yes showing transaction email it says no so if i uh, just again choose this one and from the manage display field i choose it as display in email also uh, now i've uh, logged into my customer account uh, let's go to the HTML account information section here so this is one uh, another customer account that i have and uh, here you can see the additional uh, data that i entered is visible now for this customer as well and from here he can update this particular data uh, as per his own requirement there also if you want to enable or disable any of the created uh, custom fields you can choose that particular one and from the drop down just choose uh, whether you want to disable it or enable if i choose it as disable we can disable it up uh, add avatar as we can see here so he under the status now you can see it's uh, disabled right now and if we go back to the front end and i've logged into the custom account now you can see that particular avatar thing has gone away from this particular section as well and if i log out and let's go to uh, the uh, create a new account section and the same uh, one would be removed from that uh, particular page as well so here's the uh, create new custom account so we'll scroll down to the additional info so now you can see that we don't have that particular thing to add an avatar image here uh, we could have uh, uploaded an uh, image there and we could have used that so and apart from that here are the terms and conditions that we were talking about that's the background color there in the green the text the button uh, color um, the button background and the rest of the things as well and uh, before closing out here's the additional account information with some accurate data here as you can see with the uh, download uh, with the uh, images here address option to add uh, you have a yes or a no option you have a drop down uh, you have a radio button you have a uh, multi select you have uh, the text area as well so that's how this uh, particular plugin helps in uh, to uh, uh, fetch more data from your customer while they're registering on your uh, web store there and here uh, I'm just showing you an email having the additional information like the reservation details address and uh, this is the order uh, data that has the particular information the account information additional information of the customer uh, like the secondary email uh, the gender uh, the date of birth favorite color hobbies uh, dependable image field for example and that's how this particular uh, plugin works so that was much about the uh, custom registration uh, fields uh, for the magenta 2 platform based web store and i hope it helped you out in understanding the uh, flow of this particular plugin and if you still have any questions or queries or suggestions, you can reach out to us at support at the rate of workpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidus.com. Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.